What in all of this? Because there's thousands of ways. There are thousands and thousands of connections to the divine. But they don't all work for everyone. You can pick up a whole lot of phone lines and they're not going to connect you to God. No matter what anybody else says. You need wrong number, right? You need to find the one or ones that work for you before you've committed your personal self into those. So let's do that exploring. Of course, at the PLC, there's a lot of opportunities because we don't have just one set dogma. We have classes on lots of different things or individuals you can talk to about lots of different possibilities. Search for the one that works for you. And then, when you've done that, you think you have those ideas, then we go into the Gnostic learning, the personal part, the intuitive part that's going to connect us. In the Gospel of Thomas, Jesus is quoted as saying in that, that look what's before your eyes, recognize what's before your eyes, and the mysteries will be revealed to you. For nothing is hidden that will not be revealed, and nothing is covered that will not be uncovered. Nothing. It's all available to us. And to do that, I think what we do, there's a Buddhist saying. It says, before I look for enlightenment, a mountain was just a mountain. And then as I sought enlightenment, a mountain was other than a mountain. And when I found enlightenment, a mountain was again just a mountain. That's the journey that we need to go on. Because when we do this, before you're seeking your connection with the divine, you could say, well, I'm just me. You know, I'm just a person wandering around in this world lost with really no kind of support. I'm just one little person. And as you seek this divine knowledge, I tell you, you will go through this. Again, from the Gospel of Thomas, Jesus said, keep seeking until you find, and when you find, you will be troubled. Because as you do this, when in that seeking process, you find that things aren't what you thought they were. I can no longer say, I'm just me. Because I start realizing, I start feeling, I start learning in that Gnostic way that we're not just separate individuals, but who are we? And you're in that lost thing. I am no longer me, but who am I? But when we seek, and we keep seeking, and we open ourselves up, and we've gotten rid of this clutter, and we can truly commit ourselves to it, then we get to the point where we can again just say, I'm just me. Because who is me? Me is this divine being that's one with everything, that's connected with all, and will know, absolutely know, that we will be nurtured by the divine for all of our existence. Namaste. Good job.